So to approach our, our uh, traveling salesman problem, we're going to use what's called a heuristic algorithm. Uh, now this is one that um, is not optimal. So this is not optimal, which means sometimes it doesn't give us the best answer. But hopefully it gives us a better answer than just randomly guessing. Uh, so, so we're going to go ahead and give this a try here. Uh, so the way the nearest neighbor algorithm works, and this is our first heuristic, is we pick a starting point. So let's go ahead and use A as our starting point. At every point along the way, we move to the nearest or short cheapest uh, next visit unvisited vertex. So we're going to look and say, what are my choices? I can either go to B, to D, or to C. This path has a cost of 4, this path has a cost of 1, this path has a cost of 2. I like cheap, and so I'm going to go this way down to D. So I'm taking the cheapest route. Now notice this is what's called a greedy algorithm. Uh, we're always taking the cheapest route uh, that we can find. So now from D, I look at my options, either 9 or 8. I don't want to go backwards, right? So we're going to ignore the already visited vertices. A and here it does 8 is my cheapest uh, path. So now my options are either well, I really only have one option because I don't want to go back to the beginning yet because I need to visit every vertex. So my only option now is to go over here and then to get back to the start, my only option is to go that way. And we ended up with the circuit A, D, C, B, A. A, D, C, B, A, right? Uh, and the total cost there is what? 1 plus 8 plus 13 plus 4 is 26. Wow, that was like the worst circuit in the graph. So it turns out that, like I mentioned, nearest neighbor algorithm is not always optimal. And here's a case where it certainly gave us a non-optimal result.